dear friends in this question we are given a car goes around a uniform circular track of radius r at a uniform speed v once in every t second so time period is given to us if the magnitude of the centripetal acceleration is ac the magnitude of the centripetal acceleration is ac if the car now goes uniformly around a larger circular track of radius 2r and experiences a centripetal acceleration of magnitude 8 ac then its time period is okay so we already know the formula for centripetal acceleration is uh, omega square r where omega is angular velocity and omega can be written as 2 pi by capital t so it's whole square into r so we can write down the formula as 4 pi square into r by t square where 4 pi square will remain a constant so if we take the ratio of ac dash with ac uh, then this will come out to be equal to r dash by r into t square by t dash square now ac dash is given to us the new centripetal acceleration is 8 times the previous one in the question and the new r dash is given to us as 2 times the previous r if we fill this here we get 8 ac divided by ac this is equal to 2 r divided by r into t square divided by t dash square so r and r cancels ac and ac cancels 2 and 8 cancels we get 4 shift that 4 here we get t dash square is equal to t square divided by 4 so we take the under root we get t dash is equal to t by 2 so which is given to us in option c so the correct answer to this question is option c